Hello guys, welcome back. Um, it's always good to see you. So let's get started. Welcome maybe Roxana, Gabriela, Veronica and Jose. So let's uh, start with the class. And uh, remember that we have an activity. Uh, so let's do it, right? So remember that you have to do your profile. Uh, when looking for your ideal job. So let's listen to some of your profiles and uh, share with us. Okay, we're going to start with, uh, let's start with Roxana. Hello, Roxana, good evening. Do you have information? Good evening, teacher. Acerca de lo de lo que estábamos hablando ayer. Yes, del trabajo. Acerca de your ideal job, about your qualities, and uh, about everything you can do for that job. Uh, my goal is to be nurse. I have many useful qualities for this position. I am very hardworking. I like to work with a uh, pediatric patient and I am a responsible person. Mm -hmm. Okay, with children, maybe, Roxana, do you like to work with children? No, no, that is another area, right? Okay, so you want to be a nurse. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Roxana. Uh, let's listen now to maybe, please, maybe. What is the ideal job you have? What are some professional skills and personal qualities you have? What Good makes... evening. Hello? Good evening. Uh, my three. My degree in laboratory for taking sample of blood or body, Luis. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of useful qualities for degree in laboratory. Mm -hmm. I am a very friendly person. Me, my community's skills are good for mm -hmm. which I am can become a manager. Oh, a manager, right. We're working in the laboratory. That sounds interesting. Interesting job. Okay, thank you, maybe. So let's listen another, please, Dennis. Do you have yours? The microphone, Dennis. The microphone. Hi, good evening. Good evening, Dennis. Um, my my goal is to be administration. A businessman. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I have a lot. Us usef. Uh, what is the meaning? Useful. Uti. 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 Yes. Uti. Useful qualities for a staff manager meet goals. Mm -hmm. I am responsible, respons no sé cómo se dice, responsable. Responsible. Responsible. Mm -hmm. Persistent. Mm -hmm. Persistent. Persistent. Okay. I am also, also can and efficient. Efficient, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, only. That's it, okay, that's it. You are ideal for that job, right? Okay, you are responsible. You have useful qualities, right? Useful qualities. Okay, thank you, Dennis. Okay, let's listen now to Gabriela, please go ahead. 
I already did my presentation yesterday. Ah, uh, yes, yes, I remember. Thank you. Okay, let's listen to Veronica. Maybe Veronica has the information. You have it, Veronica? Okay, no, what about uh, you, Jonathan, please? You have the information. Good evening. Good evening, Jonathan. My goal is to be team leader. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of use, useful qualities for manager. Mm -hmm. I am responsible and quick or kick, no sé cómo se dice. Quick mm -hmm. learning, mm -hmm. quick learning. Quick learning, quick learning. Quick. Yeah. Quick learning. I am also friendly. Mm -hmm. My skills mm -hmm. are good dealing with the team member. Okay, dealing, right? Dealing with team members. Dealing. Mm -hmm. Dealing with team members. Okay, that is so hard, right? Dealing with people, it is hard. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Man. That, that is part of the personality, right? Some people are good for dealing with personnel and then we have others that have other ones. Okay, thank you, Jonathan. Let's listen now to maybe Sofia. Can you share with us the, the information, Sofia? Good evening. Good evening, Sofia. My goal is to be a praiser. I have a lot of useful qualities for this job. I can now use the programs like AutoCAD for the architectural plans. I am responsible. I am. I have a theoretical and practical technology of evolution of construction and ground. Mm -hmm. I am so. I. I am also a punctual, punctual person. That's it. Okay, I'm curious about the, the job position. What, what is that? A Fraser. Fraser. Uh, Perito Valuador. Oh, really? I didn't know about that. Mm -hmm. Fraser. How do you spell that? How do you ¿Cómo? spell how do you spell a uh, Fraser, Sofia? What is the meaning of the spell? Spell? Spelling? A B P Ah. A is a P P R R A I S E R. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know. I didn't know about that. Okay, thank you, Sophia. Okay. okay. Let's see. We have a new word, right? A Fraser. Okay. So you see, we learn a lot of words every day. Okay, let's continue with Karina. Please, do you have the information, Karina? Please, wait a moment, T-shirt. I'm going to give you one moment. Okay, okay. one moment. Okay, no worries. Uh, let's listen now to uh, Jose. Do you have the information, Jose? Good evening. Hola. Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, my goal goals is to be account manager. Mm -hmm. Accountant I, manager. Accountant manager. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of useful, 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 useful qualities for analyst finance mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and an accountant. I am calm, calm, mm -hmm. calm. Kind, Very, okay, kind. Kind. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, very friendly. Oh, friendly. Mm -hmm. I'm blind, blind to people that go. Mm -hmm. I like my job. Mm -hmm. okay. I community mm -hmm. with my many people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that's okay. perfect. 
Okay, not too many people, right, like to be like, uh, to be an accountant, but your information seems that you like your job. Okay, thank you, Jose. So let's listen another, uh, maybe Alejandra is ready. Do you have the information, Alejandra? Good evening. Good evening, Alejandra. Creo que sí. <laughs> Please. Okay. My goal is to be community manager. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a lot of you usual, usual? useful mm -hmm. oh, uh, qualities for communicate. No, sé cómo se dice. Um, to communicate. Uh -huh. Communicate, communicate with people. Mm -hmm. Uh, I am creative. Uh, mm -hmm. Buena ortografía, no sé si se dice excellent spelling. Spelling, spelling or writing can be. Okay. Uh, proactive. And I am uh, also a leader. Mm -hmm. You are a leader, okay. A leader. Y en direction, en, en direction communication. Okay, you can like guide, you can guide people, let's say. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Guide people. Mm -hmm. Can guide be. People. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you, Alejandra. That's an interesting job, right? Community manager. Okay, I have a lot of leaders here, right? Some of you want to be team managers, right? Fountain managers. So that's good. That's good to have those goals. Okay, let's listen another person. Maybe uh, Wendy is ready with information. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Thank you, Wendy. Okay. My goal is to be a doctor. I have to study a lot and I have a patient. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, you are patient. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I have to really constant mm -hmm. and I am very hard working. Mm -hmm. This is quality are very important for yourself and a doctor. For being a doctor, okay? For being a doctor, yes. You have to be patient, right? Patient with persons. Uh, because I can't like imagine to have a lot of people and there is only one doctor, right? You have to be patient. Okay, I hope you can get your goal, Wendy. Okay, let's listen. Maybe um, Karina, I don't know if you are ready. I... No yet? No yet? Karina? Yes. Sí, no yet. <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Go ahead, yes. please. Solo quiero saber cómo se dice azafata. <laughs> Okay, as a fact, okay, then let me mm. let me check. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? I don't remember. Let, let me check. Este word, este, no sé. Zapata. Let's see. Is there another word? ¿Hay alguna otra palabra? Eh, esa, one? solo esa. Okay. Mm. Este, este word, no sé, así, no sé. ¿Cómo Let's se dice? See. No le encuentro, fíjese, I can't find it. Otro que pueda, que pueda eh, ser parecido a Zapata, no sé cómo. Uh -huh. O sea, eh, eso es mi... mi... Let me check. Uh -huh. Ajá. Me find. Ya, ya, me dejó, ya me dejó curioso with that word. Sí, que aquí dice, eh, o sea, yo lo busqué y dice, este guard, este guard, pero no sé realmente. <laughs> this mm -hmm. stewardess mm. stewardess stewardess okay Go okay ahead. good evening um uh, my goal is to be stewardess i have a lot of useful qualities for be uh, i am handsomely helpful mm -hmm. excellent worker um I am how to speak several languages and attend to the passengers. 
Uh, what I like most about my joy is getting to know many countries. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you, you mean like air hostess, right? Is it que, es, es, yo, Gabriela? Is it, is it que estamos buscando el significado? Air mm -hmm. hostess. Yes, that is the Hoster. one. Okay. Yes. Porque it is for yeah. the airplanes, right? For the airplanes. Airplanes. In airplanes. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. To be an air hostess, right? It sounds great. You have to travel, to meet new people. People. Mm -hmm. uh, so, language. To, yes, you have to learn a lot of language. Language. Uh -huh. language. Aha. But in, maybe English. English is the one that you need. English. In, 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 bueno. Yo he viajado y me gusta que las azafatas saben hablar todos los idiomas y si usted habla español, le entienden. Eso me gusta. Igual. Maybe it's that they are, they are far away from their families, right? From the family. Okay. Mm -hmm. El único, the only problem, they are far away. Sí. sí. De su familia, es, right? Es, me gusta ese trabajo. <laughs> but yes, right. Yes. Meet people and to know languages. And if you like, right? It you sounds like. great. I like. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Karina. So let's see another, maybe. Um, who is missing? Okay, Andrea. Um, do you have the information, Andrea? Yes. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Hi. please. Good evening. Uh, my goal is to be a content manager. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of successful qualities for a content manager. Mm -hmm. I have a critical thinking. I am very responsible and punctual. I am good at man managing manejo teacher. Managing information system and analyze account information. These qualities are very important for successful account manager. To be a manager, yes, right. They have to control to manage information. Great, perfect, Andrea. Thank you. Let's listen. Uh, let's see, maybe Emma, who is coming. Hello, Emma. Are you ready to, with the information? Emma, do you have the information? Tenemos the information, Emma? Hola, hola, Emma. Se nos fue, okay. Maybe Victor? Hello, Victor. Hello, teacher. Hola, Hello. ¿me escucha? Hola. 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 Oh, ahí yeah, está. Yes, Emma. Mm -hmm. Ok. Uh, my goal is to be international trade coordinator. I have a lot of useful qualities for management of people uh, and experience in coordination of import and export extensive knowledge of custom regulation mm -hmm. and encoders, coordination of custom agents, mm -hmm. transport and logis. I am an integral professional uh, focus of meeting proposed objected with a positive at, uh, attitude sure. mm -hmm. in the face of adversity. Always in search of a new knowledge mm -hmm. and goal. Okay, that sounds great. You are hired. Está contratada, Emma. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you, Emma. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay, let's listen another. Victor, please. Are you ready, Victor? Good evening. My goal is to be. A teacher, mm -hmm. a teacher is a person who has the talent to teach. Mm. Uh, also, is a per is a person likes to learn. Mm -hmm. um, 
I am a very kind person and I like to read. Also, I like challenge. You like challenges with children, with teenagers, with adults. Yes, that is going to be a challenge. Okay, estamos contratados. You are hired, Victor. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Tenemos la palabra hire, right? Contratado. And when, the, when someone says you are fired, it means you are out, right? So let's see. I think everybody's done. So thank you so much for uh, doing the homework, right? Remember, this is the moment for you to practice. And our main goal has to be to speak, right? And to understand English. And then the other skills come when we practice. Okay, so let's go with the topic that we have for today. And in this lesson, we are going to learn about the present progressive and the prepositions of time. So this is the topic. So let's see some, let's read some ideas, uh, some vocabulary, right? I brought this vocabulary because we use them, uh, these type of things daily. So let's find out what this vocabulary means. We have the first one that it is buy, when you buy something, right? Um, then you have, when you return a product, when you the samos, right, a product. And then you have exchange. For example, usted quiere cambiar, you want to exchange the product. Y cuando vamos to a mall eh, or the store, we want to try on the clothes. Queremos probarnos, right, the clothes. We want to try on the clothes. And then we have the other verb that it is paid for. I have to pay for my cell phone, for my bills, for the machine, etc. And uh, letter F, we have get some information. Cuando vamos a alguna tienda, right, necesitamos more information about the product. Okay, questions about these words. We have buy, return, exchange. We have try on. Este verbo se utiliza bastante, try on. Then we have pay for, get some information. Mm -hmm. Questions about this vocabulary? No, okay, sure. this is extra vocabulary, right? Yep. Teacher F uh -huh. es, es pedir información de un artículo. For any product, right? Get some information about, for example, cómo funciona algún producto. Uh, any information. Usually podemos utilizar can I get information about uh, this cell phone. Uh, cuando vamos, por ejemplo, a alguna tienda, siempre utilizamos el can. Ellos, uh, they use a lot el can, por ejemplo. Can I have the bill también? Can I have the bill? Can I have the bill? ¿Puedo tener la, la cuenta? Can I have the bill? Okay. Uh -huh. El can, sí, lo, es, es bueno que lo utilicemos, right? When you are <coughs> the, uh, talking, okay. can, es más polite. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, so here is uh, the vocabulary, right? Remember, this is extra vocabulary that we use a lot. Okay, so let's continue and uh, let's go with uh, this topic. Antes de ir a la grammar section, vamos a discuss this information about uh, the body language. Okay, what is the body language? Do you know what the body language is? What is that? ¿Qué es el body language? Uh -huh. Lenguaje corporal. Yes, right. That is that is the meaning, like that part. When you are moving, you say a lot of things. Okay, what do you do during a conversation? Okay, what about you, Venice? What do you do during a conversation? For example, hay unos que estamos like uh, doing something like cell phone, some others are like listening, some others. What do you do then? I guess you said then is when you start in a conversation. Pre, um, press attention. Oh, pay attention, right? Yes, you are 
paying attention. Paying attention, right? Okay. Okay. Thank you, Denise. What about you, Karina? Do you smile when you are in a conversation? Do you smile a lot? A veces la, la, la risa, when we are smiling, significa que estamos nerviosos. Do you smile, Karina, when you are in a conversation? Um, so, so. <laughs> so, so. Depending, right? Sometimes. Depends, sí. Depends. Depends. The person is speak. speak. <laughs> depends, <Okay>. right? <gasps> of the topic. It depends on the topic, too. Okay. Depende del tema, por ejemplo, if it is a joke, right? Okay, what about for my job mm -hmm. for, 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 for me job for me trabajo? I am teacher uh, children and all time uh, smile with children. Mm -hmm. Smile yes, yes. dancing. <laughs> I understand. Uh, yeah, because of the job, right? You say, Karina, because of the job, she yes, has to smile. Yes. Sí. My work is um, with uh, children, mm -hmm. children um, age uh, two and seven years old. Yeah, yeah, from two. Wow, you okay. must be very patient. Okay. Uh, my, my work, my work is is a uh, wonderful for me. Yeah, <laughs> me yeah. Gusta, me, yeah. Me, me gusta. <laughs> The wonderful part, right? This is the mejor, uh, right? That's that's the wonderful life. Uh, see, I for thirteen, I for thirteen years, uh, in 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 my foundation. Oh, really? Okay, maybe you can hire me. Tal vez me pueda contratar. I'm just kidding. Okay, I have worked for thirteen years. Thirteen years. Thirteen years. Yeah, for 13 años, okay, you have a lot of experience. Okay, okay, okay. congratulations because you have a lot of days, right? Days working as a teacher. Okay, thank you, Karina. So okay. let's watch a video, guys, about what is the meaning of body language so we can discuss about uh, this topic that can help us, for example, when we are in a job interview. Is that 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 is one thing that an aspect that most of the companies can take into consideration. Let me just a moment to share with you. Can you see my screen? Podemos ver la pantalla. Can you see my screen? Yes. 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 Okay. Let's see. Part by Skillshare. Once, when I was preparing for a job interview, a friend told me that to come across as eager and enthusiastic, you should always maintain eye contact, lean forward, and uncross your arms to appear more open. Oh, and also nod frequently and smile constantly. And don't forget to mimic the facial expressions of your interviewer so they'll like you more. But I thought, wouldn't all of this make the interviewer question if you were engaged or unhinged? Still, these are the tips body language experts dish out to unlock success in interviews and on first dates. But it's not exactly a science or really a language. In fact, the most common beliefs about body language are wrong. And understanding these body language myths can help you from jumping to conclusions or trying to interpret signals that just aren't there. I'm Vanessa and you're watching Braincraft, where we explore the psychology in your everyday life. Now, even for researchers, it's really hard to study body language. In spoken or signed languages, a word will have a few meanings that are agreed upon by everyone. But this isn't true for body language. Each gesture or movement could have many different meanings in different contexts. If you're fidgeting during your interview, it might be because you're nervous or bored or preoccupied or drank one too many glasses of water pre-interview. And movements can be subtle. Tiny changes in the physical arrangement of a face can make a huge difference in whether we perceive a smile as welcoming or just creepy. Reading too deeply into someone's body language can very easily lead you to make the wrong conclusion about them. 
most of the things we think we know about body language are not actually supported by science. For example, you may have heard of the myth that 93% of communication is nonverbal. This number is based on studies by Dr. Albert Marabian, but is taken very much out of context. In two studies in the 1960s, scientists had participants identify whether people liked, disliked, or felt neutral about the person they were talking to, based on single words, tone of voice, or facial expression. In the first experiment, researchers found people were more likely to use information from facial expressions than from tone of voice when evaluating how much one person liked another person. Then, in the second experiment, they found that people were more likely to determine a person's attitude using tone of voice than the actual meaning of a single word. But these studies are very different from real-life situations. You never have to determine if someone likes you based on a single word or a static facial expression. And there's lots of other information that we communicate besides whether or not we like someone. While tone of voice and facial expressions are important, the 93% rule just isn't applicable in the vast majority of situations. Another myth is that looking to the right indicates lying, while looking to the left means someone is telling the truth. Researchers looked at this myth in a 2012 study, asking participants to lie or tell the truth and assessing eye movements. They also looked at real-world situations, analysing the eye movement of individuals in press footage, making a public request for the safe return of a missing relative. But in some cases, that person was actually involved in the disappearance of the relative, so it wasn't a truthful request. Whether in the lab or the real world, researchers didn't find any association between looking left or right and being truthful. You also may have heard that if someone crosses their arms in front of their chest, they're closed off or defensive. But there's actually a lot of reasons to cross your arms. Maybe it's comfortable, you're cold, or you haven't got any pockets and you don't know what to do with your hands. There is limited research that shows that arm crossing is associated with defensiveness or unwillingness to accept ideas. In fact, a 2007 study showed that when people crossed their arms, they displayed greater persistence and performance on solving puzzles. So maybe it's not that bad after all. The truth about body language is that it's not a language at all. What your gestures and facial expressions mean is likely affected by your age, culture, gender, and the context of the moment. Focus on words and tone and try not to overthink your body movements. Worrying too much about them could distract you from the conversation at hand, which could end up hurting instead of helping. Instead of working to appear calm or look engaged, focus on the conversation and what the other person is saying. That way... You okay, so there we have some of the aspects, right, about the body language. Okay, let's see. Gabriela, tell me some um, aspects, right, that caught your attention from the video. Give look at the llamó la atención, Gabriela. Tell me what caught your attention about the video. Mm -hmm. Hey, hello. <laughs> about the people. ¿Cómo se decía que cruzan los brazos? Pues, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, right, exactly. Cross when you cross your arms, cross your arms. Las personas dicen que usted está, por ejemplo, angry, you say they are frustrated, but, como dice el video, right, some of them are misconceptions. Misconceptions. Okay, let's see what caught your attention. ¿Qué es lo que le llamó la atención? Andrea, what about you? What can you tell me about the video, Andrea? Mm -hmm. I think the move eyes. Oh, yes, right. conversation. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is, that is interesting what you said, moving eyes. Saying as some experts, this indica que se está mintiendo. When you are like moving your eyes, it means you are lying, right? Estamos mintiendo. Okay, so let's have uh, this uh, reading, lying, right? And mintiendo. 
Vamos a tener ahora this feeling about the back. Uh -huh. yes. In the video you see some strong scenes in the beginning. Yeah, sí, una. Is, is the video you see uh, some strong scenes in the beginning. <laughs> symbols, you mean symbols? Sing, sing in, in the video, in the beginning. <laughs> okay, yes, right. Uh, some ideas are great. Okay. Yeah, okay, thank you guys. So let's go with this uh, reading guy about the body language. Vamos a ver un poquito acerca del body language. We almost identified the topic, right, that we are going to study. Okay, let's have a this uh, reading. Can you help me? Let's see. Um, Wendy, please, can you help me with the first paragraph? Uh, this the body length? Okay. Body length is crucial, is a crucial part of the face. The Face is communication, some expert say that uh, 193 mm -hmm. uh, percent of commu communication is, is not verbal. Mm -hmm. Of course, the meaning of body, language, language, varies mm -hmm. from culture, mm -hmm. the culture. Even in one culture, culture experts don't always agree on the meaning of every gesture. Gesture, you say. And ho however, here are some things they remember for your next conversation. A meeting of interview the applied mostly to communication of North America. Okay, mm -hmm. apply. We have the word apply, right? Apply. It's applica, right? Apply. Then we have the word culture. We have gestures, right? And uh, we have non verbal. Okay. Non-verbal communication. We will have the meaning too. Not spoken, right? That is the meaning of uh, uh, non-verbal. Okay, from this paragraph, is there a word, for example, that you don't know, guys? Mm -hmm. A word from the first paragraph, from this paragraph? No. Yes, Jonathan. Sería volverlo a leer, no. No, no, no. Una pregunta, a question del primer ah, párrafo. No. no. Okay. Claro. Okay. If you can help me, Jonathan, ya que estamos ahí, uh, can you help me read this paragraph? How are you sitting? Mm -hmm. Lean toward the other person to show you are in, interested in what he or she is saying. Not, not, no, mm -hmm. not to show you are listening. Listening. Okay. Uh, we have lean, right? Lean like narcissist, lean. So we have lean. move your body so it's bent forward, right? Like, and uh, then we have no, but it is like this. Movimiento de la cabeza, no. So questions about that paragraph? Mm -hmm. Questions? Yes, Dennis? What is the meaning sitting? What is the meaning of? Sorry, Dennis. Sí. Sitting. Uh, cuando estamos sentados, sitting. ¿Cómo nos sentamos, right? Mm -hmm. Sitting. 
Okay. Any other word? I'm going to the meaning mm -hmm. toward. Toward means as. Toward. It's, it's um. It's yeah. We're going to study that word. Más adelante, right? Asia. Mm -hmm. Okay. No more. No more. Okay. So well, let's go with the next paragraph. Can you help me, Victor? Are you crossing? Are you are you crossing you are your your arms? Are you crossing crossing your arms? Crossing your arms can sing the defensive defensive in an argument it can mean you don't agree. Yes, right. It says when yes. estamos in this way. Uh, it can say that you are in a defensive mood, in an argument, right? Que no estamos de acuerdo with something. That can be the meaning of crossing your arms. Okay, a word from that paragraph. No sé si hay alguna palabra, a word. Crossing, like this, crossing. Yes. Yeah. Like this. Crossing your arms. Okay, so let's go with the next one. Can you help me, Roxana, please, with the next one? What are you doing? What are your hand doing? Keep your hand out in open. Some experts say that when you keep your hand under the table, it can mean you are not feeling the truth, the truth, perdón. The truth. However, however, ¿así se dice? However, however uh -huh. a hand or the claim can just mean you are taking it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, however. However means sin embargo. Okay. So a word there, it means you are not telling the truth, right? Estamos haciendo algo con las manos. O cuando tenemos las manos debajo, under the table, right? It can mean that you are not telling the truth. No estamos diciendo la verdad. Or a hand on the chin, right? Cuando when we are doing this, it means you are thinking. Okay, let's see the next one. Let's read the next one. Can you help me, uh, Alejandra, please? Where are you looking? Where are you lo looking? Mm -hmm. Looking? Uh, looking. Make, make a... Permítame, si que no alcanzo. Mm -hmm. Make a... a I. I. Mm -hmm. Contact. Uh, when you are still taking, talking, to, talking, talking to some, some, no sé cómo someone, se someone, someone face, face to face, it, it is, it is important to look at mm -hmm. them, this shows that you are lis listening to them mm -hmm. and learn to use positive body language mm -hmm. after all uh, what you what what you do my main como se dice teacher main saying main communicate Communicate, communicate, communicate mm -hmm. more than, no sé cómo se dice este, no. Percent. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo? 90%. 90%. Mm -hmm. 90%. Oh. Percent 
of your message. Your message. Okay. So thank you, Alejandra. They, we have there uh, when we are looking the way we are looking the persons, right? right? It means that we are distracted for something, and that sometimes we are seeing face to face. That that means something, right? For some experts, okay. A word, an expression. I don't know. We have a word, guys. Not at all. Okay, let's move on. As you can see here, estamos utilizando el presente progresivo, right? Uh, for example, we have um, we have uh, are you sitting? Tenemos también are you crossing? Are your hands doing? What are your hands doing? Tenemos acá también you are not telling, etc. Y si vemos, está formado por el verbo to be y, el, y le agregamos el verbo ing. Y okay, vamos a ver entonces cuándo lo utilizamos y qué significa, right? Eh, this tense lo vamos a utilizar cuando usted esté haciendo alguna actividad en este momento. Por ejemplo, si yo le pregunto a Wendy, ¿qué estás haciendo, Wendy, en este momento? ¿Qué estás haciendo? ¿Qué estás haciendo, Wendy? ¿Qué está I haciendo? Am, Perdón. I am vegetation. Ok, muy bien. Entonces, en español nosotros respondemos estoy, ¿verdad? Estoy eh, poniendo atención. Poniendo... Entonces, en inglés es lo mismo, de la misma forma. En español estamos utilizando el verbo to be y le estamos agregando ando, endo. Esa es la traducción del present, es ando, endo. Okay, so it means that we are going to use the action or events that are in progress now and around the present. Nos indica un progression, right? It means the action can start before, now, but it is not finished or complete. So it is like you are doing that activity. ¿Cómo lo formamos? We use the subject, right? Then we use the verb to be, más al verbo le vamos a agregar ing. In the contractions, we studied this before. We have I am, am, you are, your, uh, we are, we're, they are, he's, she's, etc. So questions about uh, the, the form of the present progressive? Can you ask us questions? Yes, Dennis, tell me. Las contracciones son igual en el, para el presente simple. Mm, yes, yes, son las, son las mismas que hemos estudiado. Solo que con este eh, podemos, por ejemplo, estamos utilizando el verbo con ING. Por ejemplo, eh, podemos decir, I'm, I'm studying, right? I'm studying. Ok. Esa ese es la, la forma de este tiempo. Estamos utilizando el ING más el verbo. Si lo dejamos de esta forma, I am study está incorrecto, ¿ok? Entonces nosotros eh, tenemos que hacer énfasis en el ing, studying, working, ¿ok? Teacher, okay. yes. Y, y a todas las a todos los verbos se le agregaría siempre ing. Siempre. Que no, se le agrega? no, a todos, a todos, a todos. El ing y el verbo to be. Si usted no le agrega, por ejemplo, el verbo to be está malo. Okay. Si yo digo, por ejemplo, I cooking, no. Tengo que agregarle el verbo to be. I am cooking o la otra forma, right? Short form, I'm cooking. Estoy cocinando, estoy leyendo. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. So that is like the meaning of this tense. Okay, questions? Nothing to do last questions? No questions? Okay, good. Uh, teacher? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Este, mm -hmm. y, ¿En qué momento voy a identificar, por decir así, un tip que debo de responder o debo de 
de contestar así, I am studying, I am cooking, I am playing. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, sí hay unos tips y los vamos a ver más adelante, por ejemplo, algunas expresiones. Y también tenemos que poner atención a la, a la pregunta. Porque, por ejemplo, si yo le pregunto, uh, what do you do? What do you do? Esta, y está la otra, what are you doing? What are you, you know, what are you doing right now? Actualmente el presente progresivo, al igual que el simple present, van acompañados de ciertas expressions. Uh -huh. Viendo el tipo de pregunta, right? That we have. Ahí es presente progresivo que está preguntando. Yes, present uh -huh. progressive. ¿Y es? ¿Cuál sería? El, ¿Cómo se llama? Hey, el simple present, sí. yes, right. Simple present. Entonces tenemos que yes. poner atención a la pregunta. Ok. ¿Mm? Ok, thank you. So, there is, is there any other question? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. So, let's move on with the next information. And uh, we have the negative statements, right? The negative. We just add the same as the verb to be. We just add the not next to the verb to be. Okay, tenemos las diferentes formas, la misma estructura del verb to be, right? That is the way we can have negative. Por ejemplo, uh, let's try some questions. Okay, are you, let's see, Emma, are you, vamos a, are you reading right now? Are you reading right now, Emma? Yes, I am reading. Okay, yes, right. Yes, I am reading. Muy bien. Okay, uh, what are you doing? Esa es otra pregunta. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I am studying uh, English. I am, muy bien, I am studying English. Ok, ya tenemos ahí dos tipos de preguntas, right? Ok, so do you have questions? Questions about this? Mm -hmm. No? Ok. So, right, it's going to be the time for you to speak. And for that, we are going to practice this information is practical. So, for example, we have the first one. Who's sleeping right now? Who's sleeping right now? Who's sleeping right now? Veamos la imagen. Who's sleeping right now? Eh, ah, lo, ah, no, pero en Los Angeles no más. She's she is sleep, sleeping she is right, right now. Yes, right. She's sleeping right now. Very good. Okay, who's having breakfast? Who's having breakfast? They are having breakfast. Yeah, right. They are having breakfast. Where is Andre working? Where is Andre working? He's working. Mm -hmm. In Moscow. <laughs> Yes, he's working. Yeah, right. In Moscow, right. What about where is Hiroshi checking his email? He's checking. He's his checking email his mail in Tokyo. Yes, right. He's checking his email in Tokyo. Very good. Okay. What's Celia wearing? What's Celia wearing? He's going to work. Okay, what's Celia wearing? She is going to work. Brazil. Wearing, wearing. ¿Qué wearing. está usando? What is she wearing? Mm -hmm. Celia. What is She's Celia? wearing a jacket. You're right. She's wearing a jacket, right? Mm -hmm. She's wearing a jacket. Oh, she has a case, right? 
like a bag. And what about the glasses? Glass. Wearing glasses, too, right? Okay, what about this guy, Marco? What's Marco wearing? What's Marco wearing? He's wearing a pajamas. Yeah, right. He's wearing a pajamas here. Yeah, basically that, the pajamas. And what about the last one? Why are Jim and Anne having lunch? Jim and Anne having lunch. Why? Oh. Why are yeah. they? Mm -hmm. Because it is lunch mm -hmm. at um, 12 o'clock. Oh, yes, right. Because it is time to have lunch. Okay, questions about that? Questions? Okay, recordemos la estructura de las questions, right? Los datos que tengamos WH questions. Vamos a ir a, a the first place. Luego vamos a agregar el verb to be. Luego eh, tiene que concordar the subject, right? Subject más el verbo. No nos olvidemos del ing. Vamos a agregar al verb ing. Complemento, right? And uh, vamos a agregar the question mark. Okay. En el caso en que tengamos yes or no question, iría primero el verb to be. Verb to be. Plus subject. El verb in ing. And Okay, so let's create three and three, right? Vamos a hacer tres questions utilizando la yes no question y tres utilizando using the WH question. Okay. in the chat box. Okay, let's do it. Create three questions. Ok, tratemos de utilizar en las WH questions diferentes, por ejemplo, what, where, when, etc. No nos olvidemos del spelling también, right? Vamos a ver más, eh, hay okay, ciertos verbos, but we have to do. Ok, eh, lo escribimos en el chat box, please. Okay, serían three questions usando verb to be, um, yes, no question, right? Y tres con la WH questions. Aquí en Zoom, en el chat.
Ok, let's see. I, okay, si tenemos la, la question, right? Vamos a hacer tres preguntas, por ejemplo, utilizando la yes no question, la estructura que vimos y la WH question. Por ejemplo, is, is Karina working? Is Karina working? Yes, she is or no, she is, right? Y la otra, el otro ejemplo, the other example, what is Karina doing? Sería free and free. Okay, we have some questions here. We have, why are you bothering my cat? Okay, very good. Who is cooking the dinner? Yes, excellent. 
what are you doing here? Very good. I think we have the just no questions. Are you listening to the class? Are you listening to the class? Okay. Is she exercising in the gym? Uh -huh. Don't forget that the verb to be goes at the beginning. Is my cat playing with my brother? Okay, excellent, Gabriela. Let's see. Is Fern Sack eating? What is Fern Fern Sack doing? That is a funny name, Emma. Is it remember my dear? Okay, so let's continue. Some of you are missing. Is Fernando studying? No, he's not. Okay, Fernando is, right? Fernando is doing the homework. Or Fernando is watching videos. Some of you are in. I'm going to give you some two more minutes, those minutes, two more minutes, and then we share the, the questions, right? What are you? Okay, eh, recordemos que el, tenemos que utilizar el R, está bien, ¿verdad? You, perfect. Y al verbo que sería el do, le vamos a agregar ing, ¿ok? Ok, tengamos cuidado with that one. Ok, thank you, Wendy. What are you doing for living? Ah, eso es muy bueno. What are you doing for living? Uh -huh. Let's see the others. Are they... Let's see, are they playing video games? Yes, they are. Yes, they are playing video games. Okay. okay, recordemos que lo primero debemos utilizar el verbo to be right. Is, por ejemplo, Carla. Is Carla having a meeting, right? Is Carla having a meeting? In the room, okay. Then, are they using the computers? Excellent. Let's see the other. Are you playing soccer? Yes, I'm playing soccer. Who are you dating? Okay, I'm dating my friends. Excellent. Let's see the other. Is she listening to the music? Right. Are you, are you, que tengamos cuidado con los sujetos. Are they or are you? Uno de los dos. Veo que la respuesta sería they. Yes. Ok, tengamos cuidado, que tengamos cuidado with the questions, right? Tenemos que seguir el pattern. En este caso tenemos el do, right? Tenemos el do también. Tendría que ser who is, right? O whose. Who is playing the guitar? ¿Quién está playing, right? La guitarra. Let's see what's Jamie playing. Eso está muy bien. Where is? Cuidado con el centro. Let's question. Where is Sara? Where is Sara? Right. Is Alejandra? Okay. Tengamos cuidado con esta eh, Alejandra. Okay. With this question. Is Alejandra, el verbo es study, studying English, English, right, English. Uh -huh. Let's see, yes, is, are you, aha, uh -huh. eso está bien, pero no está siguiendo el formato, right, el present progressive. Okay, let's see the others, Roxana. <laughs> okay, let's see. What are you studying? Recordemos que el verbo to be tiene que ir de acuerdo al sujeto. What are you? ¿Qué estás 
estudiando, right? What are you studying? What are you doing? Okay. Are you listening music? Okay. Okay, very good, guys. No sé si hay dudas or questions. Questions? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who are studying? No, we are. Are we? Sería en ese caso, José. Are we? Recordemos que pregunta. Are we studying English? Okay. <clears throat> are we studying English? No nos olvidemos del formato, right? Of the questions. Okay. Uh, do you have questions about the, this part? What say do that? Questions? Doubts. Okay, good guys. So let's go to the breakout rooms. And we are going to practice speaking, right? So you will have a lot of questions where you are going to practice this section. Okay, so you have these questions, you are going to discuss them. Try to speak only. So, for example, what are you doing right now? How are you feeling? What is happening? Try to only speak, right? And then you're going to tell me what you discuss. Okay, questions? Questions? Lo que hemos estado haciendo, right? Ask and then present the information. Dudas? Okay, so let's go to the breakout rooms. And uh, we're going to practice, see? Let's go.
teacher. Yes, Sofía, tell me. Um, quiero ver, aquí lo único que teníamos que hacer era contestar las preguntas según lo que estamos haciendo ahorita. Yes, lo que estamos haciendo. Así es. Y esta, la segunda dice, who is sitting down and who is standing up. ¿Cómo podríamos responder a esa? Mm, which, what number? Two. Number two, what is happening in this room? Who is sitting down and who is standing up? Okay, who is sitting? In this case, we don't have like a, a room, right? So you can say about your family, for example. Who is sitting down and who is standing? Maybe my, my mother is standing or my brother is sitting down. Mm -hmm. Bueno, muchas gracias. Okay, okay. so let me know. Okay, okay. let me know. Hello, Verónica. Hola, hola, Verónica. ¿Estamos ahí? Hello. 